Good morning, Lord of Life. Pastor Adam here. It's Friday, so we must be talking about the Book of Concord, the Book of Concordia, uh, the Lutheran Confessions, specifically the large catechism and in looking at the Ten Commandments in the in the large uh, catechism, talking about the Sixth Commandment, you shall not commit adultery. This was a commandment that gave me a little bit of pause, so I wanted to think hard and deep about this. What Martin Luther talks about it is not so much in the negative, but more in the positive form um, in what it means to, to not commit adultery in a relationship around marriage. Uh, and one way that we can talk about that is like supporting your partner, supporting and loving and caring for and making sure that they have the things that they need in order to be loved and safe. And then also as a community, it means supporting people who are married by um, being a system of support for them to uh, be able to love each other and, and be in a good, healthy relationship. And the importance of that good, healthy relationship between a married couple is so that they can care for any children if they do choose to have children, that the, they, those children are in a um, happy and healthy environment. Um, and so the, I think it's the most helpful way to think about, you know, do not commit adultery is think of the, the positive, the not, less, not less of the you shall not, but that you should support each other, uh, specifically support your spouse in, in doing what they need. And I want to take a minute to talk about divorce, especially in this, is there is such an emphasis put on marriage, but when marriage fails to be a loving, supporting um, caring relationship, it it's not really um, doing what God desired designed it to do. And in some cases, uh, we've used this in the past to make women or or men feel bad about leaving a relationship, um, especially abusive ones or harmful ones or ones that you know and stick it out for for the sake of the kids. But in in some cases. When you stick it out, when you fight for a relationship that there's just not love or support there, you actually end up harming not only yourself and your spouse, but also the children that are part of the marriage. I think the Bible is a story about um, beginnings and new en and endings, right? When we are baptized, we die to our old selves and we rise in something new. So by making space for that, marriage is an important in in blessed institution set up by God. Um, we should do our best to honor and, and, and create space for that and, and support those who are decide to be married. And just as we should um, honor those who, uh, you know, and Luther says, even there's a select few who decide not to be uh, married and, and to support them as well, that they have been given a special gift from God in order to um, remain single and so to better serve the church and better serve their community, be more flexible. And um, I think that's a very important role too. So there is a lot there, a lot to cover in a short amount of time. If you have questions, I would be more than glad to continue this conversation with many of you. But uh, again, I, I think the most important thing here in terms of this is to remember that we need to support and love those around us, those who we have committed relationships to. Please pray with me. God in heaven, we ask that you bless us and bless those who are in a marriage, um, that you give them those love and support that they need in order to um, thrive and have uh, happy and healthy relationships. And we pray for those who are struggling to find that, ha that happy and healthiness. And um, we um, want to make sure that everybody is safe and cared for first and foremost. We pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.